are we? We're in Iron oh, no, Man. <laughs> Luke, we're here. We're at. Where are we? Uh -huh. <laughs> Luke, we're what? at. We're. Oh my oh, god. Alright, we're at Iron Mountain Trading Post Camping <laughs> Restaurant, ATV Rentals, RV Resort, and Cabins. You could have just called it Iron Mountain Riding Park. Iron, Mar Iron, Iron Man. <laughs> Alright, welcome back to today's video. We are out here in Georgia, just north of Atlanta at Iron Mountain. We got a bunch of toys that don't look like mine because they're not. We're out here with my boy Colin. Colin, where are you hiding? Over there, we got Colin. We got Colin out here. We actually stopped by his shop and dropped Luke's 350Z off to get paint corrected, ceramic coated, and the whole nine yards. I think Luke's gonna throw those clips in at the end. But while we were down here, we figured we'd go riding and they're doing an event at the park this week. So we stopped by the shop, picked up Colin's stuff. If you guys caught the last video, you saw that we blew up the tan renegade, so we're missing her today. So Luke's gonna be rocking on the rental unit today. It's an 850 XT Max. Sweet. Yeah, we sold this hunk of junk. That actually wasn't junk, but it's actually it was, really nice. But we got the 23 Renegade. Link him a little diff fluid. Don't tell Colin I got a diff fluid on his trailer. And then we've got Colin's Limited. Colin's Defender. People keep sliding up on my Snapchat saying, oh, Kyle got a Defender. We're just going to explore the park tonight and then probably start with the video tomorrow. Anyway, we're going to go get situated. Sorry for the long intro. We'll catch you guys when something cool is going on in a second. Okay, so we barely did any riding today because there's nobody here at the whole park. And right now, Kyle's rotors for his truck have been really acting up. They're so, past the point of replacement. So yeah, he, he had to get them replaced. And so now <laughs> we're under this bridge. Well, he's under this bridge. And bridge. We're, no, it's, a, it's a new shop. It's yeah, a new shop. shop. Dude, this bridge shop's actually not bad at all. Got lights. I have lights and I've got tools. Dude, but look at these freaking pads. These are the old pads. All right, like this one, bare minimum. I put these pads on when I got my truck, which was 60,000 miles ago. <laughs> so these have 60,000 miles on them. Inside of the rotor doesn't look too bad. That side is, golly. Yeah, that's supposed to be like super smooth. We're changing them in the tunnel at uh, 11.30 at night. Yeah, we literally did no riding today, so we're just filming this. All the people, everyone's supposed to get here tomorrow. We didn't brush our teeth this morning. Well, I didn't. I brush brushed my teeth. teeth this morning. You didn't brush your teeth. No, because there's no. There's no. Look at. Come so on. yeah, MTV cribs in here. Um, basically, we got a picnic table right there with yep. all of our crap on it, and then six beds, uh, concrete floor, and AC. And that's it. That's the most important part. Anyway, step outside our crib. We got Lee ready. I'm ready. Josh from Maryland, as you know, is on Kill Power Sports or Captain America. You're ready. You've been waiting for me for the last ten minutes. Cody from Maryland. You gonna sink this thing again today? Uh, she has yet to been sunk, and I'm gonna keep it that way. Oh, put them, do that again. I even cleaned them. Uh. Anyway, what else we got here? Oh, Luke, no. what's their last update? You're still brushing your teeth? That's good. <laughs> I get the mud off. All right, so this is the rental unit for the day. It's an 850 Max XT. This As you can see, there's a lot of orange clay here. We rode a little bit last night. Our buddy Colin, who we've got the Defender, and Luke getting a car wrap. We'll throw that at the end of the video. But yeah, we're about to go ride. Apparently, there is some swamp areas we're gonna go find. We'll probably pick you up on the GoPros in a second when Luke's done brushing his teeth. We got a big old crew. Apparently, sassies are not the move for this place, but that's what everybody's got. Lee's on cryptids and Luke's on stocks, but that's only because Luke's renegade blew up. So we are in search of mud, and we are full on ready for this storm that is coming at us. It is calling for three inches of rain today and into the night. So I think this park is gonna go from straight complete dust to a sloppy mud hole. Oh, I was hoping I could curve it. So what I'm kind of quickly learning is sassies are not the tire for this park. And I was gonna bring the X3, but I already knew I had to bring Colin's Defender. So to fit all that, I would have had to also bring the gooseneck. And I really didn't want to drag the gooseneck down here. So that's what opted me to not bring it. And now I'm regretting it. This might be single track shit. All right, go that way. I was just trying to find a valley to find some mud. Well, we're off to a bad start. Uh, well, I don't know. I'm just going down random trails at this point. I'm hoping one of these valleys leads to some mud. Probably some pretty aggressive hill climbs back in here. This is not a place to not have any brakes. Yeah, this is an X3 place for sure. What do we want to try to find? Mud or... I, I want to find mud, but it's like I have no idea where. Ride around and explore. All right. There you go. The long way. Yeah, Was that two wheel drive? I need some, yeah, I need some uh, zip ties. Oh, sh I don't know if we got any. Oh, oh sh That's 
got some ruts. This looks like it could be bad, or I'm gonna be severely disappointed. Aww. I wonder if we can ride down this creek. I was talking to a guy and he said they did a river run, but I didn't really know where they did it at. It literally just fits. Ah, uh, is that it? She had a long way to... I didn't even need your help. Like, I enjoy this riding a lot. It's just the way this machine's set up and the way that my viewers, you guys, enjoy watching our videos, it seems the mud riding is kind of what you guys just enjoy versus just this trail riding stuff. I mean, I don't know. I think there's still really good power. Are we getting up this? I think he's saying stop engine. Oh, turn it off then. Oh, stop engine. Hold on. Oh, uh, for oil. I mean, it's definitely low. He keeps getting a stop engine code for being low on oil. What's up? Okay, I'll just tell you. Do you have oil with you? Oh. You guys wave me down if it acts up. All right, not gonna lie. Kinda wanna go find mud now. We are literally chaos. Everybody's been scrambling around to get ready for the King of the Deep Bounty Hole race. This is actually the first race I've ever ran, and I'm pretty excited. I drew number two, but we're running the small tire class, which is 32 and under, naturally aspirated. So you can have motor work, but no spray. I'm still on a stock motor, but we got clutches, 32 inch sassies, and a pretty happy thumb that's going to mash that throttle. I do have a feeling I'm going to probably blow my rear diff. Hopefully not on the first run, because I do have two runs to do, but we'll see how we stack up against the competition. I was like pretty kind of confident the other day because I like knew everybody that was running. I was like, okay, we're on pretty fair bikes, but then all the big four guys showed up and now I'm just like, well. So for a little bit of context, Kyle's getting ready for the race, so he's kind of busy at the moment. The Blue Renegade has no oil in the rear diff. Ever since we got here, it's been leaking on the trailer. The ride over here, it was creaking and popping, and so it's it's probably going to give out during the race. Josh, how do you think you're going to do? I don't know. <laughs> probably not that good, but we'll try. BK? What's that? You, are you going to do good or not? Uh, I plan on it. You I want to be the best, so <laughs> I'll try. All right, Cody. If I could just make it out without breaking anything, I think I'd be happy. Yeah, that's probably the real statement. Mr. 47.8, good to see you, buddy. I like how they got the two guys that have never ran a bounty hole going first. Oh, he made that first wall look easy. We'll see how we do. It's our time. couldn't get it in sport mode right off the bat because I had mud under here, but that rear diff. I don't think it's totally blown yet, but I think it skipped. I like heard it at the end. It oh, everybody bad. heard. I, I literally looked up and saw everybody's heads like, 
Yeah, your rear does smell like So, it. I don't know that I'll get a second good run, but I'll run a second run. I mean, screw it, we're here, why not? I already called Fleet, whatever, performance is, and said, you better put me a uh, rear diff on the shelf, because I need it for, uh, I need it for old girl before we go to Mud Nats. If you guys didn't catch in the last video, we talked about we will be at Sabine Mud Park at Mud Nats in Texas. So, if you guys are local or already there, come check it out, come see me. I will have merchandise with me, and I would love to hook you guys up with some stickers, so catch us out there. And then after that, the next big event will be Mud Bash. I might jump in the Bounty Pool series. That too. I want to go figure out the times. I have no idea where I even placed so far. I think I'm in second right now. Or am I in first? What was my? What was mine? Okay, so he had 17-2, and then me had 17-7. Right. You're okay. Right. I think we're doing all right so far for some for some beginners over here. Me and you. And listen, if I lose to you, I don't care because you haven't ran before. I don't care about first overall. Just first with the friends. We're going for our second run. This is not going to be a winner, but this will be a show because this disc is going to blow. Uh, such a good way to scratch these goggles. Hey, listen, if I'm already going to lose, can I hit it in reverse? Dude, I'm about to hit it in reverse. Come on, you want to put it in reverse? You go back. Entertainment more than anything. He wants to know if he can ride the hole in reverse. Actually, <laughs> you ready for a reverse wheelie, people? Swing it around. This is for Dan right here. Pick that thing up and swing it around. Yeah! <laughs> I guess over there, whatever you can do, whatever you want, I don't care. That is so funny. Bro, no way! Well, we blew the diff in the bounty hole, but my bike's getting out of here. Thanks for the assistance, boss. Uh, I guess put it up here. You're good. That's so funny. See, Dan makes some strong bumpers. I'll bend it back. Oh, Dan makes some good bumpers. So, uh, if you guys are looking for a front rag kit for your uh, XMR Renegade, my buddy Dan Ken over at Plateau Fab uh, makes these Renegade bumpers, and geez, are they stout. Obviously, picking up a thousand pound machine from that's gonna bend it, but I'll take it. That was pretty funny. That was so worth the shot. And shout out to Yankum Ropes for these, uh, as you guys can see, we both ripped both of our uh, tiger tails this week. And Yankum Ropes sent out these soft shackles as well as a strap, and they're pretty bad. Dude, they didn't think I was serious when I told them I wanted to run it in reverse. <laughs> Yikes! Oh yeah. oh yeah, we did her good. We definitely put a show on. Bro, it did not look real. It looked fake. Dude, it, I was watching it, because he had it so high in the air, it looked so fake. He was just like, whoa. He's like, you think it'll break? I'm like, no, it's not breaking. So you shredded a front diff, a rear diff, and what else? The motor shot a tan one. We got Texas in two weeks. Let's just go buy new ones. Like, I want to know what my time was for that. 20, 30, or 32, 32. 33, 33 yeah, so, seconds. Yeah. First place to reverse and also first place for entertainment. All right, well, we got to go get the truck and trailer, unload everything, and get the machines loaded back up. And we got a five hour drive back to Charlotte, North Carolina. All right, so we got to load up and go pick up Luke's surprise. We'll catch you guys in a little bit. I'm not going to touch that camera because I'm buddy. Dude, something is not right with that dip. Oh, that That's come. That's not important. So, quick little damage assessment. 
I will one, I don't even know the damage assessment. At first I thought it was my transmission, but now I think my front diff shot too. So I think we did both diffs. There's a lot of oil on Colin's nice trailer, so we're gonna have to clean that. Other than that, I think she's good. So now we've got two diffs and then a motor for the tan one. And the only other thing we need to be ready for Texas in two weeks is a new unit that still hasn't come in yet. And then I'll be in PA for a week. So we're gonna be on crunch time and we've gotta make all this happen in like two days and I've gotta work two days, so. So anyway, we got everything all loaded up back onto my trailer. We got Colin's trailer dropped off, but absolutely a huge shout out to Glass Life, which is Colin's company. They actually did us a huge solid. I've actually got a surprise for Luke and Luke kind of already knows about it, but not too bad. I already knew. I was he already knew. <laughs> so during this trip, we talked about coming down to Georgia, meeting up with my buddy Colin. He always lets us stay in his camper whenever we go on big trips. He's the guy who we went down to Florida at Hockweller with. He'll be going out to Texas with us. We also went to Boggs and Boulders. We already went to Boggs and boulders last year. So Colin does paint corrections, PPF, and uh, color matching, and basically brought Luke's car back to life. Now this thing was in great shape being at what, 60,000 miles for an 08? It had decent paint before, but like all old cars. I'll put a Snapchat right here of what the paint looked like before. This is at nighttime, and you can see all the scratches and swirls and stuff. And this is the after. So back to the surprise that we had for Luke was getting this thing completely paint corrected as well as putting a pretty hefty ceramic coat on this thing. This for ceramic coat is thick, but it's... Water doesn't even stick this truck's water bottle out. <laughs> water ain't gonna <laughs> stick to this. Honestly, I wish my truck had a ceramic coat on it right now because we started driving this thing around at the trails at the park and holy crap is this thing muddy. Look at all that mud caked up in the fender well. I think we take your car mudding is yeah, what we okay. should do directly yeah, no. after you just got it yeah, no. completely paint corrected and ceramic coated. No. But like I said, Here, put, put the... but like I was saying, absolutely huge thank you to Colin. I already told you thank you, but I know you're watching this. I just wanted to say how much we appreciate what you guys do for us and making that car look pristine as well as everything you've got in the shop is super awesome all these customer cars so so if you guys are interested in some ppf work which is paint protection film it's essentially a clear wrap essentially which is what they install i think they're doing it on the c8 right now if you ever buy a brand new vehicle a new truck new car it is 100 worth it he's got it on his 2019 f350 and i thought that thing was brand new it looks amazing and he he, he works the crap out of that thing if i ever go buy a brand new vehicle i will definitely be putting it on there so like i said if you're in the Atlanta area. I just want to give a huge shout out to Colin and his shop, Glass Life, and go check them out. I will have their Instagram linked, but besides that, we've got a four hour drive home. I think our ETA is nine, but we're going to head on back to Charlotte. I've got a lot of stuff to tear into, clean up, and uh, get ready for this work week, and get ready to get on to another trip and make some more videos for you guys. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to us. We are climbing at a pretty good pace, and I'm really excited about that, as well as just seeing you guys interact. I really appreciate that, and if you haven't already, check out that merch link down in the bio. Shop Kyle Colin.com. And if you guys want to grab yourself some stickers, some shirts, we will be at Mud Bash with merchandise. And I will be coming out with two more shirt designs for that. Just want to throw a little merch plug in there. We did spend a lot of money on this trip with all the stuff we broke. So just clicks, views, comments, shares, all that stuff helps us make what we do happen because this is not a cheap sport. It's very expensive and we're totally in it. We're going to get back on the road. Luke's got to throw his tag back on. Holy sh that camera's bright. You got the deep Nope, it's in my pocket. Goodbye. Too bad. I got that. Dude, I got that. Perfectly. Oh my god. Oh my god.